Our first thread is titled, Am I the A-hole? My mum wants to get my husband a first Father's Day gift. She says, here's a text from my mum. I feel kind of stepped on. Why would she purchase this for my husband? And then she has here a little screenshot of the conversation that she had with her mum from her phone. It has a little picture of what looks like a photo frame. And then it says on it, happy first Father's Day, picture of the dad. And then she says, hey, can you send me a picture of your husband and, uh, and daughter? I want to have that made. And OP replies, no, don't, lol. Then her mum replies again, saying, take one of him holding the baby, please. And that's pretty much it. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I'm i completely speechless, honestly, about this one. She says, hey, I feel kind of stepped on and I don't know why gifts, Father's Day gifts can only come from the wife. I find that a little bit strange. It would never even occur to me to have a problem with this. I think it's actually a really sweet and nice gesture from her mom that she cares enough about Father's Day that she wants to buy him something for it and to give him some kind of celebration that he's a new dad. I think it's awesome. I don't understand where this desire and sense of competition comes from and why it feels like if she has this, if she gives a gift for Father's Day, then that fundamentally means that she's taking away something from the from his wife from her from her daughter in this case it seems super sad to me what's also actually quite hilarious about this for those of you who can see the thread um like the the text conversation part of it it's honestly all she says is no don't and then lol and as far as I can tell, like, that's not, I wouldn't be taking that very seriously. It's very clear that her mom doesn't take it very seriously because she's like, yeah, come on, just get, take, send a picture. What's the problem? And fair enough, because none of this, none of this as a response actually explains why she has a problem. The thread doesn't explain why she has a problem with it. You can see the level of, I want to say bad faith that a lot of people have where they go into something like this. And it's actually like people have good intentions. People have no reason to have a problem with anything. No one's trying to cause a fight or create a fight. Actually, I could think of a lot of people who would say, hey, my mom didn't even bother buying a Father's Day gift for my husband and then having a big problem with that instead. So it just seems to me that some people want to take things in the wrong way and are looking for a reason to be offended. And that that's that's what that looks like. And see the comments, most people are also like, hey, you know what? I'm actually not sure what your problem is. One person says, if you don't want her to, then be more direct. The lol makes it seem like you're kidding. You could say, this is sweet and thanks for thinking of us, but I'd like to give this type of gift for his first Father's Day. I do think it's a nice thought, but you feel how you feel, just be direct. <sighs> I get so tired of people having this knee-jerk response of trying to validate every single emotion a person might go through at any point in time as if 100% of your feel everyone says hey your feelings are valid and it's like yeah okay you can't sure sure I guess if you want to say you can't change your feelings per se although I think a lot of feelings are actually kind of circular in that you want to be upset so you get upset so that makes you more upset and then you get even more upset and so on I, I just, yeah, no, I, I would say that sometimes if what you're feeling is irrational and unreasonable and you can understand why it's irrational and unreasonable, then you can just let it go and move on. And people, if everyone around you says, hey, you know what, this is a really nice gesture, then I would take that at face value and go, okay, you know what, maybe I'm the one that's in the wrong here and maybe I can just get over it and I don't need to dwell on this feeling all that much. But everyone else is like, hey, your feelings are valid. One person uh, seconds this. She says, you're not being direct at all. I do think she's just trying to be sweet in this situation and not trying to be overbearing. Explain why you actually don't want her to do this so that she understands. Yeah, like some kind of explanation. If no one else on this forum of otherwise pretty intense people who also have major problems with their mums or with their mother-in-laws understands exactly why you have a problem with this, then it's really you. It's not everyone else. This person is rather on her side. She says, I feel you. It's a bit odd because she didn't have a kid with him and he isn't her child. Definitely your role to do something nice for him. On the other hand, when my son gets married and has kids, I plan on getting his spouse at least flowers for Mother's Day and stepping back because the day isn't about me at that point. But if he said no to the flowers, I'd respect his wishes and more feelings on the matter. <laughs> now, I can guarantee you that no son in the world will ever care about you buying flowers for his wife as his mother. I'm I'm pretty confident that that is not ever going to be a problem that anyone runs into. 
I this idea of hey she didn't have a kid with him and he isn't her child meaning that you cannot celebrate fathers no one says this about mothers right like no one says hey for mother's day the only people are allowed to say happy mother's day to you are people who are either your spouse or your child and everyone else in your family is just not meant to re- like recognize that you're a mother on that day so I don't know I don't know I don't have no idea where this is coming from it's so strange one person replies very straight out. She says, personally, I don't see the issue. And um, another one tries to kind of come up with a problem. She says, hey, I think her issue is not the fact that her mom wants to get him something. I personally don't see a problem with that, but more so the fact of it being his first Father's Day. So she wants to be the one to get him something like that, being that they created the child. I also don't see a problem with that. I doubt a card to sister-in-law for mother-in-law would be a problem for OP. The issue is that she just needs to speak up. Hey, I appreciate the kind gesture, but as my husband's first Father's Day, I would prefer to do that myself. But if you would like to get him a gift he needs or wants, something else. It all comes down to communication. I think it's sweet she thought of him. I, I don't quite understand why someone else deciding to buy your husband a gift stops you from buying your husband a gift whether for Father's Day or anything else. Like, there's there's nothing, there's no reason why she still couldn't do, so, like, she could do something way nicer and way more over the top because he's her husband. She really wants to celebrate him and nothing that her mom does would stop this. Now, another person says, what is the problem? And OP does actually reply. She says, it's me, I'm the problem, which I'm pretty impressed with, actually, in terms of self-awareness. That's an, it's an impressive level of self-awareness for this type of thread. And then um, someone replies to this and says, I mean, I'm with you. I don't have a problem with my mom getting him a Father's Day gift, but this particular thing seems intimate and maybe something that would come from you. Just wanted to let you know that you're not alone. I did not find anything at all, like remotely intimate about it. I just think everyone, everyone who tries to agree with her makes no sense to me, honestly. And then the final uh, comment that I will end with, she says, why can't your mom get your husband a thoughtful gift? Does every woman on here need to make everything a competition? You can get him a thoughtful gift and so can she. And another person seconds this and says, why spend so much of your time making things a competition? Life is way too short. And that is the fundamental lesson of this thread. If people want to buy you a gift, if people want to buy your husband a gift, you can just say thanks and move on with your life. Whether you like the gift or you don't like the gift, you can always think, hey, it's the thought that counts. Be grateful and happy that there are people in your life who are thinking of you and who care about your husband enough to give him a gift and then just let it go. I don't understand. Like sometimes negativity begets negativity, to be honest. You kind of ask for it. If this is how you react to people being nice and thoughtful, then you 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 deserve it. 